Hello Beyblade world, welcome back to another unboxing episode. Today, we're gonna take a look at Gatling Dragon. So Gatling Dragon is a right spin attack type Beyblade. It was released on June of 2022, and it's the most recent addition to the Dragon family of Bays, with Tempest Dragon coming before it two years prior. So Gatling Dragon features some cool gimmicks, which we're gonna be talking about more in depth later. But taking a quick look at the parts we're getting, we'll have... The Dragon DB Core, Gatling Blade, which is a very cool name by the way. Uh, for the armor piece, we're getting Armor 10. Karma Disc, which came with Guilty Longinus as well. And the Charge Metal Dash Driver, which is an upgraded version of Charge Metal, which came with Tempest. As an added bonus, we'll also be getting the D-Gear, which you can use to upgrade your Bilio Base. We'll go ahead and open the box now, but before we do that, please help us get the channel going by liking and subscribing. We're a new channel that talks about anything and everything that is Beyblade related. We'll be releasing new content every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Central, and we have tons of fun stuff planned for you guys. Our like and subscribe goal for this video is 30 likes and 30 subs. So the first part we're going to talk about is the D-Gear. This actually goes on the Nexus Force Disc and the All Might Driver, um, making it a great alternative for the S-Gear. It is similarly shaped with the Sting Disc, but it doesn't have the same bound ability that Sting has. Once on, D-Gear is semi-free spinning. Let's put this on right here. There. The D-Gear is semi-free spinning, both clockwise and counterclockwise. Now moving on to actual Dragon parts. Let's start off with the Dragon DB Core. So this thing has a built-in spring system, which gives it a bound ability, uh, which is useful for both offense and defense. This is basically the same feature as with the Valkyrie 1 DB Core from Savior Valkyrie. The main difference between the two is that Dragon's does not go as far back as Valkyrie's. Now you might think this is a bad thing, but it's actually by design. In theory, this would allow Gatling Dragon to do more bound attacks, allowing it to dish out more damage, or help in pushing the opponent out of the stadium. The Dragon Core also has three locks, compared to Valkyrie's two. So in my opinion, the Dragon DB Core outclasses Valkyrie 1. The Dragon Core weighs 8 grams. Next up, we have the Gatling Blade. This little part is pretty fun to play with. The design looks slick, the colors are amazing, and the rainbow stickers are back. So this thing has two dragon heads and two attack blades, which we're gonna be calling wings from now on, just so we're not confused with the whole Gatling blade. I gotta say the dragon heads look similar to Guy's Fafnir's design. So the difference is that instead of springing back one head, Gatling's actually locks in place. So the Gatling Blade features a slash and continuous attack mode. Whether the head end or the tail end is locked determines which mode Gatling Dragon is in. Do keep in mind that the two dragons are independent of each other, so you could be in slash mode on one side and continuous attack mode on the other. If both dragon heads are locked, the bay takes a rounder form and the sliding wings are locked in place. This is called the slash mode. So I believe this is the state that Gatling Dragon is supposed to be in when launched. I might be wrong though, so let me know in the comment section down below. And if I'm right, just let me know. <laughs> just let me know as well. Now on the flip side, if both Dragon Tails are locked, the bay takes on a more oval form. So this allows the attack wings to come out, theoretically to help in dishing out additional damage. So the idea is when you hit Gatling Dragon, it's going to activate the bound ability and push the sliding wings out. Now when Gatling bounces back, the sliding wings will follow. This basically gives it an extra attack from the bound ability plus an extra oomph from the sliding wings. Hence the name continuous attack mode. So the Gatling blade weighs 16 grams. 
Next up, we have the 10 armor, aptly named because it has 10 triangular shapes and 10 points. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The weight is evenly distributed among these 10 points, giving Gatling Dragon more stability and higher stamina. This makes the 10 armor a great all-rounder, but would work real well in defense and stamina builds. So the 10 armor weighs... 13 grams. For the Forge Disc, we'll be getting the Karma Disc, the same disc that Guilty Longinus has. So while Karma is not the heaviest or best Forge Disc out there, its shape, in theory, when used with the right spin Beyblade, would help cut through the air and increase its downward force. This in turn would keep the Beyblade more grounded and harder to push around. So last but not least, we have Charge Metal Dash. It has reinforced springs, giving it better burst resistance than its predecessor, Charge Metal. Charge Metal Dash, like Charge Metal, is mostly made of metal, including the tip, making it one of the heaviest drivers in the current metagame. While it doesn't have the high speed or greatest stamina, uh, the plus side is it's really easy to control. So self knockouts should be rare when you're using this driver. The Charge Metal Dash driver weighs 16 grams compared to Evolution Dash, which is 7 grams, and the Drift driver, which is 10 grams. And now that we have that out of the way, it's time to do some test battles. Test battles! Who are we going against? Gatling Dragon versus Lucifer the End. <laughs> ready. I'm ready! Three, two, two one. one. Let it. Let's see if Lucifer can spin you. Oh, wait, same spin. You can't do that. Yeah, no. Oh. No spin stick for you, Lucifer. Ready? Three, two, one. Ready? Lucifer being aggressive. Trying to land big hits on Gatling Dragon. But doesn't work. But doesn't work. I can win if I do hand spins. Oh boy. You definitely. Hand spin time. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Let it. Valkyrie. <laughs> it's Savior, of course you're first gonna be ready to try. Ready! Did it burst I think it bursted by itself for no reason. <laughs> savior. Oh savior, you're oh, savior. so weird. Three. Two. One. one. Let it. Just when you think you win, you lose. One win for Savior. And one win. I guess it keeps on bursting. Huh? I see you fix 
Three, two, one, let it. <laughs> I like that was beautiful. That was beautiful, sir. What? Out of gas. It's almost out of the ring too. Yep. Draw. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Let's. Super speed. Super Save lightning here. speed. Just don't hit Gatling. You're gonna win. Don't. <laughs> don't hit <laughs> there. And that is it for Gatling Dragon. Overall, Gatling Dragon is a pretty fun bait to use. It's able to knock opponents around the stadium and do a lot of burst finishes. The gimmick is pretty cool too. Um, is it worth getting though? So in my opinion, if you're a collector, it's never a bad thing to add another dash driver in your arsenal. You'll also be getting the Dragon DB Core and the Gatling Blade, which are decent parts. So yes. However, if you're looking to just get one Beyblade and you want that Beyblade to be fun and pretty competitive straight out of the box, there might be better options out there. One would be Guilty Longinus and another one would be Greatest Raphael. That's if you already have a decent launcher. If you don't have a launcher yet, I would suggest getting Cyphered Excalibur, which comes with a sword launcher. And those three Beyblades don't really break the bank. They cost about the same as Gatling Dragon. We actually did an unboxing video for Cyphered Excalibur, which should be somewhere up here. And we also did some test battles between Cyphered Excalibur and Graves Raphael, which should be somewhere down here. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And hope to see you guys again next week. Bye.